referees. Okay, floor is yours. Okay, now, hello everyone, I'm Chin Hong Yan from the Japanese Space Agency. So today I'm going to talk about a really important topic in rocket science, which is finding the best path in space. And with that, I also mean within limited time and field. So how do we do that? Uh, let's take a look at this example. So this is a NASA's Cassini mission to Saturn. And here we are seeing the path of Cassini going from the Earth to Saturn. And in between, we have to use the gravity of Venus, Earth, Jupiter in order to boost the energy to bring the satellite to Saturn with the lowest amount of fuel. And I think uh, the, uh, we are living in the golden age of space. So we have companies like uh, SpaceX uh, helping us to develop neural rockets and sending things to space in a cheaper way. But however, uh, this is still a very challenging and very expensive uh, task to send a post to explore space. So that's why we have to plan ahead. And also we have no gas station, we cannot refill it. Everything has to plan ahead. And to find such a path of, uh, for example, Cassini, we have to exhaust the tree of all possible different planets um, to visit. And the tree will grow uh, according to the number of planets you visit and also the number of bodies you consider. So this is a very complicated task. And uh, even uh, with the most powerful computer in the world, we cannot exhaust the tree of all possibilities. But then we can try to make simplified assumptions, we can try to make a smarter uh, searches. So uh, in some sense, this is uh, kind of like a chess game. You, you try to find the best move in, uh, in the game, and then you try to uh, learn from it. So uh, with that idea in mind, the Global Trajectory Optimization Competition is established uh, 10 years ago in order to challenge researchers in our field or different fields to uh, solve a really challenging uh, technical problem, uh, finding the best trajectory in space, in, and submit the solution in one month. So, for example, 10 years ago, 2005, the first key talk is to find the best path to defect an asteroid which could hit the Earth. And 2012, GDOC 6, this is a problem to map uh, the moons of Jupiter in the most efficient way so that we might find evidence of life in Europa. And last year, the GDOC problem is to measure distant galaxies so that we may understand more about the origins of the universe. And uh, me and my colleagues from the European Space Agency are very lucky to win uh, the competition last year. And we have the honor to organize the next GDOC in March 2017. So what is the secret of winning? Uh, I think, to me, is the process of putting yourself in the challenge and learning things while you, you actually stress yourself to the limit. And also through collaborating with researchers from different fields, such as artificial intelligence, mathematics, we can learn better ways of designing space orbit. So this is sort of like